Hello and happy full moon, my friends. Welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga. I'm Allison, and on this channel, we do yoga aligned with the moon and the seasons. Subscribe now to join us on that journey. Today's slow flow yoga class is inspired by November's full moon, also known as the beaver moon. November's full moon is known by many names. The Cree and Assiniboine call it the frost moon. The Northern Arapaho say it's when rivers begin to freeze. For the Tewa Pueblo, this is the moon when all is gathered in. This moon is most widely known as the beaver moon. As the ground frosts, the waters chill and our awareness shifts inward, beaver gets busy preparing for winter. She readies her dam, which will serve her with shelter, food storage, and protection. The ponds formed by beaver dams create wetland habitats for countless species of frogs, fish, and insects. Beaver dams also improve water quality, retain precious water during droughts, and mitigate soil erosion by slowing the flow of water. Beaver shows us the value of persistence, resourcefulness, and living in harmony with our environment. She is an ecosystem engineer, inspiring us with her vision and weaving magic. Is it any wonder that Beaver is associated with the aspects of creation and the ability to manifest one's reality? In today's class, we embody the spirit of Beaver and honor the interconnectedness of all living things. We too have the power to make a real difference in our world and to change the course of life itself. Once again, welcome. I'm so, so glad you're here. If you're enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and we're gonna get started in a comfortable seat. As you arrive, start by simply noticing the breath its natural flow in and out of the nose. Relax the nostrils, the throat, and the shoulders. And feel the weight of the body pressing down on the earth below. And starting to deepen the breath now. Bring the hands to heart center. Then gently blinking the eyes open. As you inhale, press the palms together overhead. Exhale, goal post the arms, shining the palms forward. Keeping the bend in the elbows. Inhale, fingertips connect overhead in a beautiful full moon shape. Exhale, elbows down to your sides. Inhale again to that full moon shape. Exhale, elbows to your sides. Keep blowing like this, moving with the breath and seated full moon rising. Go at your pace and you can even close the eyes here if you wish. On your next exhale, send the palms behind you, fingertips pointing out to the sides, and bring the feet to the floor with knees bent, reclining here a bit, open your heart. We're gonna open the hips a bit with some one-legged frog kicks, 
Starting with the right leg, bend the knee out to the side, swing the legs straight, exhale, bring the knee into the chest. Nice and easy, outward circles, moving with the breath. Try to keep the heart lifted. And the belly engaged. On the exhale, set the foot down to switch. Left leg now. Knee bends out to the side, swing the legs straight. Exhale to bring the knee back in towards your heart. Moving with the breath. Remember dropping the shoulders away from the ears to keep the spine nice and long. Exhale, setting the foot down. Take a breath in once more to lift the heart. Exhale, soles together, knees wide. Bring the thumbs to the arches of the feet for Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold over your legs. Feeling the heart reach over the toes to keep the spine long. Option to close the eyes. Return to your breath. And friendly reminder to only fold as deeply as you need to. Our needs, experience, sensations vary from body to body, moment to moment. So wherever you are, just make sure you can breathe deeply and enjoy your practice. Inhale, lift the head and rise. Exhale to tabletop. Coming onto hands and knees for cat cow. As you inhale, lift the tailbone and look forward, arching the back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine for angry cat. Flow with your breath, inhaling to your cow belly. Exhaling to round the spine. And I invite you to invoke a bit of water energy here. You can rock forward and back as you flow here. With your next cow belly breath, walk the hands a palm print forward, exhale to downward facing dog, keeping your knees soft, your head and neck relaxed, just feeling the stillness of this shape. Inhale forward to plank, Dropping the knees, exhale all the way to the belly. 
untuck the toes, inhale, lift your heart, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Hips sink back on the heels, resting your forehead on the mat or on your hands. Inhale, rise up to the elbows and bring your knees together, preparing for our beaver tail flow. As you inhale, extend the right leg back, flexing the toes to point down for a nice active leg. Exhale, swing the leg over to the left, tapping the toes down. Inhale, arc it through center and tap the toes right going back and forth, creating this big rainbow motion with the leg. Think about pressing out through the heel and moving with the breath. And this will be your last rainbow arch. On your exhale, set the knee down next to the other and sit back on the heels with the hands on your thighs. Sitting tall for a moment. Inhale, sweep the hands behind you, interlacing in yoga mudra. If it's okay, you can extend the arms, roll the shoulders back, lifting the heart for a beautiful stretch across the chest and shoulders. If this is a lot of sensation, you can bend the elbows a bit or even rest the thumbs on the low back. Tone the stomach inward to support the spine as you open the heart space. Exhale, release to tabletop for another round of cat-cow. Now you can do this in the regular way, staying stationary as you flex the spine. You can shift your weight forward and backward like we did before, or entertain some other intuitive movement that might feel good here. Just move with your breath. On your inhale, walk the hands forward, a palm print. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. You can pedal the feet here or stay still with the knees slightly bent. Inhale, rounding forward to plank pose. Knees up or down, lower to the belly. Elbows shave the ribs. Untuck the toes. Inhale to cobra. Shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, child's pose. Folding in to rest. Pausing here. Inhale, rise to the elbows once again. For our first motion, embodying beaver, bring the knees together. Inhale, extend the left leg up and back. 
pressing through the heel to firm the leg. Exhale, tap the foot over to the right. Inhale through center and tap it over to the left. Going back and forth at your pace. Keep spreading through the shoulder blades and gathering your navel inward. Slow controlled movement with the breath for beaver tail. Exhale, setting that knee down next to the other and sit back on the heels. Inhale to lengthen your spine as you sit up nice and tall. Sweep the arms behind and interlace the hands with the awkward thumb on top. And on your inhale, roll the shoulders back and lift your heart. You can lengthen the arms, sort of sending the knuckles down towards the earth. And again, if that's too much sensation, you can soften the elbows a bit and just feel the thumbs against the base of your spine. Find the breath here. On your exhale, release the hands for tabletop. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Relaxing through the jaw and gazing back between the legs. And from here, doing your best. In your exhale, step the right foot forward between the thumbs. If you need to, you can use your right hand to assist your foot forward a bit. Drop the heels and start to walk your hands towards the left side of your mat, pointing your toes to opposite corners. Staying low, start to shift the weight side to side in this variation of Skandasana lunge that we're gonna call Busy Beaver. Let the fingertips graze the earth as we here embody the fluidity of water, but also staying down towards the earth giving ourselves a sense of grounding and stability. On your next exhale, spin around to frame your right foot in runner's lunge. Now watch me for this transition we're gonna plant the left hand and step the right foot back for side plank. Stacking the feet if you can, or dropping the left knee for a little more support. If it's okay, reach the right arm up to the sky, or you can keep your hand on your hip for more stability. Focus the eyes and breathe. Nice job. On the exhale, drop the hips to the mat, bending your knees to the side. Maybe those knees bend in line with the hips. And from here, turning to face the front of your mat, drop to the elbows in a variation of a prone twist we'll call beaver dam. You can stay on the elbows or lower down to rest your head on your hands. We're gonna make this a restorative twist and stay here for quite a few breaths. So settle in, make sure you're comfortable and find some deep and easy breaths.
On your inhale, roll onto the belly, extending the legs. Shift the hips from side to side. And then hands under shoulders. As you inhale, lift your heart for cobra or to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing. Feeling the earth under the hands and feet. On your exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Start to walk your hands to the right side of your mat, spiraling the heels flat and pointing the toes to opposite corners. Start to lunge from side to side, letting the fingertips graze the earth in busy beaver. Exhale, spiral around to frame your left foot in runner's lunge, preparing for that side plank transition. Plant the right hand and doing your best, step the left foot back to stack your feet. Or you can drop the right knee. Vashistasana, gazing anywhere that's comfortable for the eyes that helps you balance here. Last breath. And then left hand on the hip. Drop the hips to the earth, bending your knees to the side of your mat. Turn to face the top of your mat, coming to the elbows in beaver dam. Remember, you can stay propped up like this, or even stay here for a few breaths before lowering down, resting your cheek on the mat. Let the eyes close, soften the jaw, and just feel the breath flowing in and out of the belly. And with your next breath, roll onto the belly, straightening your legs and wiggling your hips from side to side. Hands under shoulders. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog, your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. And in your own way, coming to lie on the back, landing with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor. Just feel the length of the spine grounding for a moment, the feet grounding. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest, holding onto the shins in Apanasana. And then reaching through, grab the arches or the ankles for happy baby, bending the knees deeply to either side of your rib cage. Feel the shoulder blades on the mat.
take a nice deep cleansing breath here in through the nose, maybe letting it go out the mouth. And when you're ready, releasing that pose, transitioning to final rest. Taking Shavasana or another shape that feels just relaxing for you. For Shavasana, just straighten the legs and the arms by your sides, letting everything get really floppy and relaxed, sinking into the mat. Take a nice deep breath. Allow the eyes to close or the gaze to soften and enjoy. Starting now to transition back. Bring the awareness gently back into the body. Start deepening the breath. Bring a little movement to the hands, to the feet, a little rock of the head from side to side. Inhale the arms overhead and bring the feet to the floor. We're gonna roll gently to the right side for the fetal position. And today's closing reading is from Donna Folds. It's called The Open Door. A door opens. Maybe I've been standing here shuffling my weight from foot to foot for decades, or maybe I only knocked once. In truth, it doesn't matter. A door opens and I walk through without a backward glance. This is it then, one moment of truth in a lifetime of truth. A choice made, a path taken the gravitational pull of spirit too compelling to ignore any longer. I am received by something far too vast to see. It has roots in antiquity, but speaks clearly in the present tense. Be, the vastness says, be without adverbs, descriptors, or qualities. Be so alive that awareness bears itself uncloaked and unadorned. Then go forth to give what you alone can give. Awake to love and suffering, unburdened by the weight of expectations. Go forth to see and be seen, blossoming, always blossoming into your magnificence. Let's take that with us as we very gently press up to a seat with the hands at heart center.
Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing this full moon with me. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and bow to honor each other and all our relations. Before you leave, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite beaver embodiment was. Was it beaver tail, busy beaver, or beaver dam? <laughs> As usual, thank you for humoring me with these pose names. It's just so fun to be creative with you and to bring some levity to our practice in this way. You can support the channel by making a donation or becoming a member. Those links are below in the description. And I have this intention to do a studio sort of refresh for the new year. There's an Amazon wish list down in the description as well. If you'd like to contribute to that, you can make a small donation or even send an item from the wish list. So anything you can give is appreciated, even if it's just your presence here on the mat. And I wish you a very happy holiday season. I'll be back with a new moon class soon. And of course, our Yule winter solstice class as well. So be on the lookout for that. I'll see you soon on the mat and under the moon.